I don't think it was a bird of prey. We got this whole other half of a watermelon. You're not a missing anymore! What? They're both amazing. It's not a contest. So let me show you something. So wood by itself doesn't just burn right away. Because look, I can touch with the fire and it doesn't just start on fire. You have to leave the flame on it long enough to get it hot. So then that's when you have all three ingredients, heat, fuel, and oxygen. If I leave it there long enough, then it will burn by itself. Because that smoke that's coming off of it, that is the fuel. So if you blow it out, you see the fuel. So let's blow it out. That's all fuel coming off of it. But it doesn't come out of it until it gets hot. What's inside your shelter? What kind of animals? A sheep. A sheep? Well, a pig, because these are the sheep. And some chickens? Surprise, we're in the desert. We decided to come join some friends who are camping down here. Sure, I'm always up for watermelon. There is like 35 pounds of watermelon. He and Irel, and I think it's genetic, but they love. Get the water boiling for our linguine. She's like turning her head and it's like, Shuni, we found a smart thing you do. Good job. She's just comic relief. We fished for so long, that one oh. tiny little one finally got that. You're still wearing it? <laughs> yeah. How's progress on the hair? Better. Better? Yeah. I still have, have this. Oh my gosh. Did drive off a cliff? No. No, he just stages it. Really? Yeah. Mm. Perfect. Just a little al dente because they're going to be sitting here waiting for the next step. <coughs> Let's let the butter begin. We'll just burn the butter wrapper. 
Italian oh, parsley. Oh, I'm going to put it close enough and it'll stay nice and warm. Put it right here. I'll cover it up. It's a little bigger than my grill. Drop it. Nice and crispy on the skin side. You ready to try this, Trevor? It looks amazing. Let's see if this piece is ready. Yeah, I think that's ready. Go ahead and taste it. Mm. Mm. It's good. Yeah, it's good. Okay. Let's just slide this back. Smells amazing. Put some fish on for Luke. Skin side down. He likes just to gobble that fish up just by itself. Mm. Yeah, the lemon. Wow, that's good. Oh, is the trout stuff done? It's delicious. Uh-huh. Yeah? Yep. Get rid of the skin, though. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> you got noodle in your beard. He gets everything in his beard. That's a really good trout. Yeah, it's delicious, huh? Hmm? delicious, huh? Look at our children. Eating real food. Yeah, with garlic in it and stuff. Yeah, that's a part of it. 
Sarah tried the trout and she likes it. She's not usually a trout eater. She's not a fish eater at all. Okay, Luke's fish is ready, babe. Okay, I've got a plate right there for him. I'll come and get some. I'm here. Do you like fish, Luke? <laughs> yep, he loves it. Is it good? Yeah. I haven't really put any good. salt on it or anything. It's really good. Go home, say it. The token cute little person here. Everybody's all good. The hair is the most gorgeous color. It's so many ladies pay to have that same color black and on each every fifty cents. It's so cute. Well, because you've got like some reddish parts and some white parts and some brown brown. Because have cinnamon rolls, yeah, we'd like to get some pie and some cinnamon rolls. Old-fashioned rhubarb pie. So good. Great breakfast. Mm -hmm.